Welcome to the happy hour, everybody, and welcome to this season of Outdoor Grilling. I'm excited to show you all the things I'm gonna be doing outside. Well, today, just some of the things. I'm excited about my Preserve the Pit mentorship program. I'm gonna be bringing you in on that, and I'm excited about tradition. It is all about tradition this summer. And one of the things that I love, a new tradition that's been going on, separate grills separate grills to me the key to having a really really good outdoor barbecue and it sort of accommodates your guests for people with food allergies food restrictions you know some people don't eat this some people don't eat that they don't even want it on the same grill also it helps to prevent cross contamination so i'm going to show you exactly how to do it exactly how to get it right and then i'm going to be eating some of this banging food so hang out with me happy hour style outdoor grilling this is grill number one as we show you how this new tradition is going down with separate grills. You can have a grill for beef, you can have a grill for pork. I'm starting this first grill with a grill for beef. I have some organic grass-fed beef right here. Oh my gosh, can't wait. Just seasoned really, really nicely. And listen to that sizzle as it hits the grill. And there's enough right here to get two really nice pieces of this ribeye on this grill. They're gonna do their own thing. I'm only gonna flip once, but it's going down right here. Grill number two is strictly for fish. I love fish at an outdoor barbecue. I love grilled fish. Right here, I'm doing some super jumbo shrimp, hit them with a little kosher salt, hit them with a little pepper. It's gonna be nice, and my drizzle later on is going to be crazy. People are always like, HB, you OD with the shrimp. But to me, if you're gonna do grilled shrimp, you wanna make sure these shrimp are nice and big. You wanna make sure they get that crunch on them. These are three ounce shrimp. Your guests only need one each. And yes, you pay a pretty penny for them, but trust me when I tell you, when people get a piece of this shrimp, they will never forget your event. Oh yeah, baby. Grill number three, I strictly say for vegetables and fruit. And some people may get the whole vegetable thing, there's grilled corn, there's um, grilled peppers, there's grilled beans, but I like fruit too. You could do a grilled watermelon, you could do a grilled pineapple, it's all so good. Today we are doing some grilled corn. I got my corn here, I did a nice homemade garlic, scallion, and parsley butter. It's all tucked inside, I'm laying this out on grill number three. Since we are focusing on tradition today, there's no tradition complete without a family tradition. And one of my family traditions that I have to continue to do is my mom's macaroni and cheese. So my mother was a firm believer in not buying just the regular cheese. She would actually go to the deli and ask for cheese ends. And I was like, what are you doing? And what was cool about her doing the cheese ends is that she would get this huge bag of mixed cheese. And ever since I had her macaroni and cheese with cheese ends, I've been doing it and been killing it with that. So this is a mixture of Fontina and Gruyere and extra sharp and cheddar and Swiss and caramelized onion, cheddar, all kind of good cheeses in here. And I was able to do my mac and cheese. I'm actually not done topping this with cheese. I want you to take a look at my topping. I'm going to close this lid and you're going to see some hot bubbly action hopping on with this macaroni and cheese. Let's get it. Wow. Happy hour crew, you know what to do. The moment of truth is here. I got my little trusty fork to do a taste test of all the beautiful things we did on three separate grills, keeping everything safe, honoring tradition. We got it all going on here right now. So I did corn on the grill along with some fresh green beans. And then you saw that organic grass fed ribeye. Mm, I did that on the grill. And then you saw me do those wild caught colossal shrimp. Looking so good, looking so tasty. Um, did a little thing on the side too. I did some turkey chops. I'm gonna show you guys those as well. And to honor my mom in the name of tradition, 
I did her cheese and macaroni and cheese. It is so good, so cheesy, and the presentation is absolutely beautiful. I'm about to go in and take a little test. All right, I gotta try the mac and cheese first. Like the little kid in me just wants mac and cheese first. Mm. You know what's so crazy? Using cheese ends, you can just kind of taste like all the different cheeses in one bite. I literally got a bite of like an extra sharp cheddar with those caramelized onions in there. So good, okay, I need another bite of the mac and cheese. Goodness, and look how cheesy it is, hanging off the plate. All right, now I'm time for the shrimp. I'm not gonna be cute with these shrimp, are you kidding me? Jumbo colossal shrimp right here, drizzled in garlic and lemon and lemon zest and peppers and all kind of parsley, so good. Wow. I don't even know what to say, all right. Now it's off of vegetables. I'm not gonna be eating corn on the card on camera, so I will have a string bean. Tastes good, nice smoky flavor. All here, all done on the grill. Happy hour style, you know what to do.